2052 is nothing but a description of the type of world that we, the global society, uh, is going to decide for ourselves over the next 40 years. I'm expecting the rich world to stagnate. You know, we will not get out of the stagnation that has plagued uh, EU for the last 10, 15 years and also uh, America. And so there will be slow economic growth in the rich world over the next 40 years. Uh, there will be persistent unemployment, there will be social friction, there will be increasing inequity. You know, you will have all the problems that arise because you don't manage to, to get the economy to grow. This will be on a background of uh, steadily worsening uh, climate conditions. You know, the weather is going to get more and more and more extreme all the time. More droughts, more floods, uh, more forest fires, uh, slowly rising sea levels, you know, a foot. And this is going to happen, you know, sporadically, uh, not in a predictive uh, pattern. And after a while, these things are going to get so extreme that they're starting to get scary. But still, I don't think anything is going to happen over the next 40 years, which is strong enough that it manages to kick democratic society into making a collective decision to do something about it. It's easy enough to do something about it. We know exactly what is needed to reduce the climate problem. The simple problem is that it costs more to do something about it than doing nothing. And consequently, people will not vote in favor of these solutions because they cost. I'm in favor of strong government and certainly in favor of wise regulation. And so the role of ISO, in, in my view, is very, very important and very, very useful. Irrespective of the quality of the, the standards that are established, the fact that standards exist that forces players to choose more expensive solution than the cheapest. This is, this is wonderful. The fact that ISO exists and has been able to survive does provide some hope because it does mean that, that at least in some extreme cases democratic society manages to make decisions which imply that they impose costs on themselves that are not totally necessary. And to do this in an egalitarian manner or equitable manner you need regulation and then you need of course a standard. So ISO is something I <laughs> absolutely support without hesitation. In the end, I mean, why do I you know, travel the world? Why do I, I give 70 talks like this a year you know, uh, about the book? And it is, of course, in the hope that something could happen. That there was someone there who actually then uh, proved to be the great leader of men who could then actually get something to happen in one of the uh, leading uh, countries of the world. <laughs>